y'all welcome back to our channel my name is Chrissy thank you so much for watching today's video for those of you who are new make sure you subscribe hit that like button if you like this video for more baby centered videos I guess you could call it I have two little girls a five-year-old Brooklyn and a two and a half year old Mackenzie we are currently pregnant with baby number three and that is who we're gonna talk about today so I thought it would be fun because I don't normally do pregnancy updates. Sometimes if I'm vlogging, I'll kind of insert in how I'm feeling, kind of what's going on, but I don't normally do formal sit down videos, but I figured I just entered about two weeks ago into my second trimester. So I figured I would do one now and then I'll do one maybe closer to when baby comes. So it's funny because my husband's always like, did you do that? Did you experience this with, you know, Brooklyn or Mackenzie? And I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> so I figured these would kind of be helpful maybe for you, but mainly for me so I can remember because baby brain, let's be honest, is super real these days. So I have some questions. I just figured it would be easier to kind of keep me on track instead of just trying to remember everything that's going on. I can be a little bit distracted and ADD so I have questions that I'm just gonna ask myself <laughs> and I'll answer them you know based on what's happening all right so the first question is how far along are you I tomorrow let me look <laughs> y'all this is so bad a side note sometimes like people have to remind me that I'm pregnant I'll like go to pick something up or I'll go to do something and they're like, you're pregnant. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> I am pregnant. <laughs> so it's just crazy. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow I will be, so tomorrow is, I'm filming this on a Friday. Tomorrow Saturday I'll be 16 weeks. So that's how far along I am. <laughs> 16 weeks. Uh, how much weight have I gained? I have gained about five pounds, which is so funny because in my pregnancies with my girls around this time, I was telling myself like, I can't gain any more weight. <laughs> like I need to stop eating. But this go around, I honestly haven't eaten that much. Um, and if I do, I eat very little. It's kind of strange. So um, yeah, I've gained about five pounds. Obviously, I'm gonna gain some more, but right now, feeling pretty good um, with where I'm at. It's also funny because I feel like, especially if you've been pregnant before, you know this, I popped super fast. Like there was no way I could keep this baby a secret for the first trimester because by six weeks, um, people were like, is she pregnant? And I was like, I didn't even know I was pregnant. <laughs> I popped super fast and I've grown super early, which I feel like happened with my other two girls. I grew super fast really early and then I just kind of stopped. So yeah, I don't look like I've only, I look like I've gained way more than five pounds, but that's how much I've gained. Symptoms. As of right now, my main symptom is just super hormonal. <laughs> like anything makes me cry. I'm up and down all the time, my poor husband and kids. It's just been so crazy. I was not like this with my girls at all throughout any of my pregnancies. Nothing upset me, nothing made me cry. I was pretty even killed. This time I'm just all over the place. It's just, a hot, I'm just a hot mess. Um, my symptoms early on, I was sick um, for the first couple of weeks, really sick. Which was also new to me. Hadn't been sick with the girls. Um, I also, like more than anything else, was just flat out exhausted. Could not peel myself off the couch. I was so tired. I could easily have slept all day, every day. But I feel like I'm back to normal as far as that goes. I feel like I'm starting to get my energy back, which is so amazing because Ain't nobody just gonna come clean my house. I actually have to do that, so. Okay, how, wait, okay. Um, stretch marks. I don't have any stretch marks. 
I didn't have any with my girls. Thank you, Mom. I inherited some really great jeans, thankfully. So I didn't have any with my girls. Um, and so far, none with this one. I will say I do have a few that are um, chest area. <laughs> Other than that, um, I don't have any. I don't know. My husband's going to kill me if I talk about that on YouTube. Okay. How are you sleeping? The, <laughs> I'm sleeping great. My girls, on the other hand, are not sleeping at all. I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to talk about it. It makes me so mad. <laughs> uh, last night was probably the best night of sleep that I've gotten in a long time because my girls slept through the night. I don't know what it is. We have we have been trying to put them to bed earlier because um, our doctor said the earlier they go to bed, the better they sleep through the night, especially with Brooklyn because she has nightmares. And so... I don't know what it has been lately, but like the past two weeks, she has just had an awful time waking up in the middle of the night. And so have I. So I'm sleeping fine. <laughs> Pray that my girls sleep. Cravings. This is, this is kind of funny because, um, it just kind of depends on the day. Lemon, anything with lemon. My husband gets so mad because he is he's the type that likes like we're in the south so we drink sweet tea obviously but i will put like four lemons in my tea and in my water and in anything um, anything with lemon uh, the girl scout cookies so i didn't know they made a lemon cookie like a lemonade cookie until my brother told me about this and those are so good so lemon um but really, fruit, which is kind of what I craved. So with Brooklyn, my first baby, I just wanted McDonald's, which is probably why I gained so much weight. <laughs> but I always wanted McDonald's. I still love McDonald's. You can hate on me. I still love McDonald's. I know. It's, I wish I didn't love McDonald's. But anyways. Um, but for the most part, with all my pregnancies, I really just wanted fruits and light food and salads probably because it doesn't make me feel sick sometimes when I eat a whole bunch of like whether it's fried food or I don't know heavy foods it makes me feel sick so maybe that's why my body that's all I want but yeah fruits citrusy things I don't really crave sugar or sweets which I never really have honestly I leave that to my husband but yeah, fruity things, citrusy things, that kind of stuff. Uh, gender prediction. So like I said, we do not know what this baby is. I'm filming this on Friday. We actually find out on Tuesday what the baby is. So boy, I'm like 100% sure. Well, we'll just go ahead and say I'm like 99.8% sure it's a boy. If, if, I, if this baby was a girl, I would be shook. Only because, and I don't, I mean, I'm going to go on a rant. Can I do that? I have some time. Um, there is so much pressure put on women to have children of, how do I say this? I'll just say this. I feel like the pressure is on for me to have a boy. And I feel like everybody is like, you want a boy, right? That's what you want. You want, you want to have your boy. I'm like, uh, okay, sure. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously I would like the opportunity to raise a boy, but if this baby's a girl, like how fun. I get to have three girls who will grow up to be hopefully besties like that is so fun for me to think about so and I don't have to spend any money because I already have pink everything <laughs> so honestly yeah if it's a boy I'll be excited if it's a girl I'll be excited I don't 
we don't really care um honestly my husband wants all girls and brooklyn she wants twin girls so <laughs> That may be a little scary. That may, that may be a little scary. But, I mean, you know, I don't know. Oh, hubby. Yes. So, like I was saying, we don't care. Boy, great. Girl, great. I feel like, yeah, I feel like people put too much pressure on you to have, like, one of each. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, that's my soapbox for the day so will we share the gender yes uh we we will kind of do a we've never been one to do big gender reveals we've we've always just kind of done them with our family with brooklyn though um we facetimed everybody and told them because it was a time when my family all of us lived in different places now we all live in the same um state with the exception of Michael's family. So with Kenzie, we just took them to, I think it was Olive Garden. And we had the waiter bring out pink lemonade to everybody. And that's how they figured out it was a girl. I don't know what we're going to do this time. We'll do something with our family. And then we'll probably do something with our students at church. Because they've just been dying to know. <laughs> so we'll probably do something with our family on Tuesday. And then um, our students on Wednesday. And then... um We'll show you. I'll, of course, I'll video it and show it here. But, so yeah, we'll, we will share. Do you have a name? No. Mm -mm. Like I said, I posted the baby names that I love and we might be using. I'll put it up here. We, like I said in that video, we decide on a name when we know the gender. I just feel like it's, it's a waste of time to sit and try to think of a girl name if it's not a girl. <laughs> so normally or what we've always done is we find out the gender and then we're like we sit down and normally it takes five minutes we're like what do you think about this name what do you think about this? yeah that works okay done <laughs> we're not really like neither one of us are super picky or opinionated we have our opinions but we're pretty easy and if we like something we're like yeah sure <laughs> so uh do you miss anything about not being pregnant coffee and only because I know I can have coffee but I don't want coffee which is so sad because I always want coffee but this happened with Brooklyn and Mackenzie it was my aversion at the beginning of my pregnancy and it just hasn't really come back yet I now I will say I will drink iced coffee all day every day but hot coffee is just something that I don't want which is it's really sad. I hope that goes away soon. I keep looking outside because it is a torrential downpour. It's been raining here for seven weeks. Um, let's see. But yeah, coffee is probably it. Being able to sleep fully on my stomach. I miss that. I'm a stomach sleeper, which I know is bad for you, but that's just how I sleep. So that'll probably be it. Do you have anything ready for baby? Not a thing. The baby's room, which I will show you right now, is our storage slash guest room slash stuff I need to sell slash there's a couple of baby things I've pulled out in piles slash just it's a hot mess. So I have nothing ready for baby. I have bought nothing for baby. Um, yeah, nothing. I think at this point in my pregnancy with my girls, I had the nursery ready, the name picked out, and my hospital bag packed. Sorry, baby. Nothing. I got nothing. But that's going to be it for this um, episode, this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more baby stuff. Hopefully, I'll get myself together and more baby stuff will be coming. Make sure you subscribe and hit your notification bell. So you'll know when I post baby stuff. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.